I'm Tom Melham, a professor of computer science at Oxford University and a member of the Automated Verification Research Group in Oxford's Department of Computer Science. I'm delighted to have been asked to say a few words about the collaboration my group has had with Cadence, and especially our involvement with the new C to RTL app just launched. My research on formal verification goes back to the earliest days of the field, well before any of the methods we had were industrially practical. And it's been my pleasure to see continued progress in R&D for this technology over many decades, leading to the powerful commercial verification tools we have today used across the semiconductor industry. In our academic research at Oxford, we have always been keen to engage and collaborate with industry to amplify the impact of our work and above all to gain valuable exposure to industrially important research challenges. Our close engagement with Cadence started with its acquisition of Jasper and our long-standing research collaborations with Dr. Ziad Hanna, who is now Corporate VP for Research and Development at Cadence and also a visiting professor in our department at Oxford. I'd known and worked with Ziad when he was at Intel and was delighted to deepen my collaborations with him on the technical advisory board of Jasper Design Automation. The story of our involvement with C2RTL goes back to some early experiments we did at Oxford in applying software bounded model checking to the problem of equivalence between C reference models and hardware implementations. We used a bounded model checker for C designed and developed by my Oxford colleague, Professor Daniel Croning. This tool had over a decade of performance engineering and industrial trials for software verification. Perhaps its most important feature was the wide spectrum of C structures it could handle, including arithmetic conversions, typecasting, deeply nested composite data types, pointer dereferencing, and dynamically assigned function pointers. We were curious to see how this tool, intended for software, might perform in the hardware domain, and whether it would expand the scope of C to RTL equivalence checking. Our experiments produced some really quite encouraging results. And so we launched an internal Oxford research project called CREST to push this further. We were privileged to obtain internal funding from Oxford that allowed us to hire a deeply experienced EDA developer to push the project forward with a critical mass effort over a couple of years. I realized early on in CREST that the impact of this work would be much greater if we didn't aim for a standalone verification tool but could somehow integrate the power of our software model checking algorithms into commercially available verification environments. This would allow us to benefit from their powerful engines and advanced debugging interfaces, and would integrate with a tool that many users already knew. So this was our aim in CREST, and we were delighted to get far enough to demonstrate the potential for this approach, and even more pleased when Cadence started an evaluation of the tool. There followed a period of intense collaboration between Cadence and Oxford on scalability and integration into the Jasper framework, which achieved orders of magnitude improvement in performance and a huge reduction in memory footprint. This took our early academic work on the concept to an entirely new level of robustness and scalability, integrating its functionality into the C2RTL app we have today. This project really shows something I have enjoyed for my whole career, the terrific benefits to both sides of close collaboration between industry and academia in R&D for EDA and semiconductors. I'm looking forward to the next project.